Good evening. Months into the investigation, the Ohio Attorney General and Pike County Sheriff have released new information about the Roden family murders. We got a look at the family's autopsy results earlier today. You'll remember eight family members were shot execution style in April. No one has been arrested in the months that have followed during this investigation. Nine on your side's Roseanne Aragon, though, has the newly released reports. She is live right now at the Hamilton County Coroner's Office. Roseanne, what do they say? Craig, the Pike County coroner asked Hamilton County to take care of the autopsy reports of the eight family members that were killed. Now, I have a hefty pile of papers, a lot of information, but half of it we can't use because it's redacted. Now we're going almost six months after the incident and still no motive or any arrest made in the largest family massacre in Ohio history. There were seven adults and a 16-year-old boy killed. Their bodies were found at four different crime scenes. The autopsies show every person's cause of death as multiple gunshot wounds to the head, except for 44-year-old Kenneth Roden, the 16-year-old's uncle, who had won. All of the Rodens, including 16-year-old Christopher Roden Jr. and his mother, father, brother, sister, uncle, and cousin had paper bags covering their hands, except for his brother's fiance, 20-year-old Hannah Gilly. Dana Roden, the mother of the 16-year-old, was shot in the head and neck. Her ex-husband was shot in the head and body. Both had skull fractures. Now, what the autopsy reports don't publicly reveal are any of the toxicology reports, which would show any signs of drug or alcohol use. There are also very little details on the state each body was found, the types of injuries, where they are, and how many gunshots each had. Now, the attorney general earlier stated that releasing the full to the full autopsy reports would jeopardize the investigation. He's made it very clear that this is as transparent as it's going to get. The only present survivors of the massacre are three children. The oldest is three years old. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side.